Today I'm beach launching. It's a little closer to the fishing ground. Really nice and beautiful day. Uh, I do enjoy the beach launch though. Right through the kelp beds right here. Right next to the hotels over here. Uh, some of the kayakers are out here already. Oh. We'll see. What's the deal? One of the things I love about paddling through kelp beds is I used to fish kelp beds quite a bit. I probably should go back. There's a ton of life down underneath all this kelp bed. Look at these kelp beds. Man, they are so gorgeous. Man, this is so beautiful. You know, rockfish and blues and blacks and ling pods and cabazons and all types of things you find underneath there, even halibut underneath there, you know? Uh, this area here obviously is an MPA, which is a protected zone, and it should be. It's, you know, this is one of our our gems in the along the coast, and it should be protected. So if you're looking at the kayak fish, how close you are to the water, how able you're able to jig up these rockfish and stuff along this coast, it's, it's pretty good stuff. All right, so I'm near the red can right now. Um, there's probably about a, a dozen squid. I caught them so far, but thick, nothing thick like in the past. Um, they haven't really balled up yet or schooled up yet, so mm, I'm thinking maybe I can still get them, but we'll see. Need to go find out where they're they're kind of balled up at. There's one here, just school here and there, but nothing. All right, all right, guys. So I was able to pull a few up here. They're down there, but it's kind of keep moving around. Uh, got real slow. I'm trying to find this little school of bait ball, but they're down there. Finding them, but might have to try to find a different little corner. They're here. Like two, three, four at a time, two at a time. So, yeah. You guys can see squidding starting to pick up. They're not kind of on the screen, but they're definitely down there. Picking up one or two at a time. Hopefully the tide changes and though a lot more will come here. But I got enough for bait. Got enough for food. Seems like kind of moving into them. Got two really nice ones right here. Let me see if I can continue to find them. Ooh, I wonder if I see some stuff on the top. Up right now. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it's the middle of the tide or starting the end of the tide. It's starting to pick up. So, so near the red can, obviously. And yeah, they're down there more. Sorry, to get more aggressive. But they're, they're biting again. But it's a nice squid here. So see if we keep getting them. I mean, clearly they're mean. They like the shred can for whatever reason they like it. The few feet off the bottom, generally they. It's nice when they're when they're on top. But you know, if you have to get them on the bottom, you have to get them on the bottom. That's it. That's sometimes that's how they are. Oh, you can get them on top. There are a lot. Oh man, that makes life so much easier. But when they're on the bottom and you have to grind it out like a few at a time, that does make life a little bit more tough, doesn't it? Uh, three, four, three, one, two, three. 
So in case you guys want to know how squid looks like on a fish finder, that's all of them right there. Between 60 to 80, they're floating on top right now. That's all of all them. We got a legitimate haul right there. So we gotta put these into the, the larger bag so that I can uh, switch up later on. Switch up to catching raw fish with, you know, with my other bait one. But these, get to go in. I think it's time to make a switch now. I think I had enough squid. Kind of make a switch to uh, the halibut raw fish. But, oh man, not a huge one by any means. Not a huge haul by any. They're here, and it's fun to catch. But we gotta get off this, and we gotta go fishing, dude. Come on, guys. I think I got a nice filthy link. Grab that up. Because it's that uh, squid pretty quick. Tired from squidding all morning. Fighting a fish, man. Yep. Filthy link. Link can go. Wait, are not surviving very long down there. Oh, it's blue. Honey blue. If you like to spin, spin, spin. It says blue. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh man, it's massive. Hopefully it's not a snag. Oh, it's a snag. I think I got a filthy link. Nice. All right, guys. Another filthy for the books. But I'm almost done with the day. Uh, so probably gonna head in pretty soon, but another nice 22, 23. Filthy. I'm gone. Alright, time to go in. Super late. Probably about four and a half. Uh four thirty now. Almost five. Jeez. Went all out today. Alright, try to get in. 
think most guys came here at like one o'clock. <laughs> oh boy, what am I doing, Chubby? You want to butt that bad? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back on land, and I had to really grind it out today. It was not an easy day. Well, I can say that. Got plenty of fish, but um, it was not an easy day for halibut. And uh, the last few trips, I've been catching a ton of halibut at, you know, places I know that has a lot of halibut, but this place is, has been not very kind to me. I think I'm 0-4 right now for halibut. Ever since I got that really, really big one a while back, it's been like none for me right here, so. The locals around this area definitely know how to catch a halibut here, but I just, I'm more of a, a drip than hopefully I'll find them. But um, I did end up catching two really nice lingcod and uh, we did get into the squid. Now the squid in the morning were actually kind of slow. We're picking one up here and there, but then at the end of the tide, uh, they were coming in pretty thick and it was pretty good. Um, but I ended up catching like, like probably about 150, 200 squid. And then uh, I had to use a bunch of it for, um, I had to use a bunch of it for bait, which is like, like blasting me for me. It's like, he's like, what are you doing, Chubby? But I had to do what I got to do to get my butts, but none, none to be had. But check it out. Got some really beautiful lings. Guy even got two nice rockfish right there. Yeah, because those guys were already cooked already. So I just, I didn't want them to die and, you know, just waste. So I'm going to take them home. Hopefully someone can use them. All right. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, can enjoy this video. Um, if you do, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in another episode of TLA.